Hey guys, what's going on? Um, just like I said before, we're going to create some art today. And uh, actually, you guys are in for a treat. I decided for my first video of sh actually showing you how I do my art, I'm actually going to show you something that nobody has ever seen before. Nobody in my family, none of my friends, nobody has actually ever seen this piece of art. That This is one of the best piece of arts I've ever done in my life. It, it, I've kept it secret because, I, you know, some critics are out there, I, you know, this is my best work. I didn't want, you know. I'm going to show you now, and then we're, I'll show you step by step how to create this wonderful work of art. I mean, th this is a masterpiece by any standard of the means. So, you ready? Alright. I'm going to show you guys how to create this today. This literally took me hours to create. I mean, the detail in the hair, the facial features, I mean, this was just, uh, just kidding. We're going to create some real art today, guys. Per request, one of my friends, uh, he actually wanted my first piece to be a spray paint piece. Um, so we're going to go do a short, sweet planet painting. I'm going to show you how to create some planets, space. I might even throw a meteor or two in there. Um, again, if you like my channel and you like what you see and you want to see more, hit the like button, like hit button. the subscribe button, and let's go get started. All right, guys. Set up out right here. I've got my poster board cut. And I've got it taped down to the table. Very important part. Make sure you have some kind of gloves on. This spray paint is some nasty stuff. Make sure you wear something to protect yourself. Normally, I change glasses. I've got another set of glasses for overspray, but I'm going to keep these on because I'm vain and I don't want to look like a goofball. So I don't <laughs> think it's going to be a problem today. We've got plenty of ventilation. Um, never do this inside an enclosed area unless you have some form of ventilation. Uh, these fumes will mess you up, trust me. I did it before in one of our outbuildings. I had a headache for about five hours. Uh, needless to say, make sure you got ventilation. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do some planets. Uh, a galaxy and let's just get started with it so you can use any kind of lid that you want I use paint lids I use tin lids anything you want let's just go ahead and we'll put one here let's set this one uh, let's go about here we'll put one up here and maybe put one hiding behind that now you can take any color you want, doesn't really matter. Um, I'll just go ahead and use the black here. When you start, always shake your can, test it, make sure your nozzle's all right. I'm just gonna do a real quick outline on all these, just so I can get a basic idea of where they are, where I'm gonna put them back at. Then I'm gonna take them ball off and now we have a basic outline of where the planet is. So now we can add our color, texture, and then we're going to seal the paint with something you guys are going to love. Um, I know you've seen some other artists do it. Yes, I'm going to use fire to seal the paint. Alright, so for this planet here, we're going to go ahead and use some uh, navy blue. Once again, shake it make sure a couple test spots. We're just going to put a little navy blue in here. Okay. Put some pink and in with it. we're going to put, I will put your pink in here. My <laughs> wife loves pink. We'll put some pink. blue in here. And let's put just a little bit of spa blue right here. Alright, now I need a little white. Always make sure. Okay, now. You'll move over here, dear. You want to take a piece of paper. I use my wife's old magazines. Trust me, she gets plenty of them, much as she shops. Crumple it up a little bit, and you're just going to lightly apply this over that paint. 
like this. Take it off, apply some more, as much as you want, as little as you want. And we're going to get some texture in there. All right, now, if you're like me, a messy artist, it ends up all over the brush. Now, very important with any painting, you're going to have a light source, you're going to have a shadow source. My light source is actually going to be over here. You're not going to see the light source, but that's where it's coming from. I've already predetermined that. So what I want to do now is I want to take a little shadow and we're going to put it on the back side of this planet like this. We're going to take a little bit of our white and we're going to cover, put a little light source on that side. Now, we're going to go ahead and do another one of these here. Uh, my wife wants pink, so let's get a little pink going. This little one, I'll put a base of red down. And we'll go ahead and throw some berry pink on top of that. And a little bit of white. Again, get your paper, crumble it up a little bit. Actually, with this, I'm going to show you a little bit different technique. Put your paper down, drag it. Then that gives you a different look. Same thing as the other planet. You want to get your black for your shadow source. And you're just going to put a little bit there. You're going to take your white for your light source. And you're going to put a little bit there. Alright, now we're going to work on this other planet. I think for this one, I want to put a base of a purple down. The big one? Yeah, let's go ahead and do the big one. We're going to put some purple down in this one. Okay. Uh, let's get some more blue in there. Blue is my favorite color, so let's get some blue in there. And to mix it up, my wife likes pink. Let's throw some pink in there. Woohoo! These collars can be anything you want. It really doesn't matter. We'll put a little light source on the planet here. Again, get your paper. Crumble it a little bit to create the texture. And you go down to your planet, just very lightly. You're going to create the texture on it. Again, you can do this as much as you want, as little as you want. This is entirely like up to you. Now we get our black. We're going to create our dark shadow side here. And we're going to get our white. I'll create the light side. Now we've got one planet left. Let's go ahead with blue again. My favorite color. So we'll start out with a base of dark navy blue. Now we'll go back to brilliant blue. And that's it. We'll just put a little white on there. Create a little texture. Now, this is the part you're all probably going to really like. Now, before we put the lids back on, um, oh wait, we are not done. I didn't put a shadow source on this. And the light source. Okay. You guys will notice I'm standing over here now. You can use a hair dryer, you can wait it out, but for time's sake, I don't have a choice of either. I know you've seen some of them do this before. We're gonna seal this paint up real quick like. And that's how you seal it quick. Now we're gonna take our lids and we're gonna place them on here. Back onto the painting. Okay. And now we're going to create.
create the space. And this is where I always end up. There we go, I want black. Now we're just going to start filling in around the planets. Just like this. And just kind of doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to show you how I like to make my galaxies. You'll notice I left some area in there. It's going to get filled up. I'm going to take a little purple. Well, as you can tell, this nozzle's already messing up. So sometimes you need to grab a different nozzle. I'll grab this one, stick them on. All right, now we're back in business. I'm gonna put a little purple in there. Okay, let's do some brilliant blue. I love blue. Put just a little bit of blue up in here, here and there. And cause my wife loves pink so much. Let's put a little pink in there as well. And I like to do, you can put little streaks in here, create like little nebulas and stuff. Now, we've got the background for our galaxy created. Now we need to do some stars. And for this, this is why you need a glove. Spray the white on, click it. That's how you create your stars that you need. Put a little more here, a little more there. Alright. Now, I think I want a meteor. I'm going to show you how to do a meteor. You just put your can straight down. Boom. Just like that. Now, as you notice, my can left a little indention. Not a problem. We'll go back in with the navy blue here. Kind of touch that area up. Go back in with the brilliant blue. Then the pink. A few more stars. And I think we'll call that done. Now, we'll go ahead and remove all of our lids here. And now you've got your planets. I'll go ahead and let my wife get a good look at all that. That is how you create your planets. Very nice job, honey. Now we're going to take clear again. Let me get over here. Alright. We're going to take clear. We're going to cover it up here. Now, clear coat can also be used if you mess up. Clear coat will cause the paint to be malleable again, which is how I sign my name. And we're going to seal it with the same clear coat. I'm going to do my lighter. There it is. And of course, you all probably love this. Alright, that's good. And that's it. If you like what you've seen, remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I'll keep putting them out for you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself, and I hope to get to see you again real soon. Thank you.